Okay, so we've talked about with the tabernacle all of the the cloths and the leathers and things that would go into this. But if you've ever put together a tent, you know you need more than some cloth or some leather or some plastic or whatever. You got to have a frame. And so God knows this. So God tells him how to do the frame. This picks up in verse 15. It says, for the framework of the tabernacle, construct the frames of acacia wood. Each frame must be 15 feet high and 27 inches wide, with two pegs under each frame. So there would be two pegs coming out. So make 20 of these frames to support the curtain on the south side of the tabernacle. Make 40 silver bases. Two bases under each frame with the pegs fitted securely into the bases. For the north side, make another 20 with their 40 silver bases, two bases under each frame. Make six frames for the rear, the west side of the tabernacle, along with two additional frames to reinforce the rear corners of the tabernacle. These corner frames will be matched at the bottom and firmly attached at the top with a single ring forming a single corner unit. Make both of these corner units the same way. So there will be eight frames at the rear of the tabernacle set in 16 silver bases, two bases under each frame. I just gave you a whole lot of information. Basically what's happening here, they make these these wood boards, right? And it, it describes, it, it really describes them well. Uh, they were 15 feet high, 27 inches wide. And so they went side by side by side by side, all the way around with these pegs with bases underneath them. So the, the tabernacle had the tent over it and it had the frame inside around it. And these are described in other places in the Bible as being covered in gold. So they were overlaid in gold. So this was absolutely stunningly beautiful. And they always oriented the tabernacle in certain fashion. Right? They talk about the north, south, east, and west. Well, if you're in a tent, you set it up, that may change, but it didn't for them. They oriented the tent in the same directions every time that they would set it up because from time to time, the tabernacle will be broken down so it could be transported and then it would be set up again. So these made, to me, these, these boards make a solid wall around the tabernacle and were not as much as just a frame, but they were walls as well. So I think that it seemed like this was probably a solid wall. And each board was joined together by a series of tabs with rings. And through these will run bars. So each bar would come through and attach to those rings. And so it held everything firmly together all the way around. So I've got the boards and I've got the cloth coming down over these, the ram skin, all these different things. So this is a very substantial, thick, like big tent. I mean, this thing is this thing is legit. I mean, 15 feet high. So you know the walls of the tabernacle were 15 feet high, and then it comes up and across. So very interesting in the description of how this would have looked. So tent with walls, a house for God. See you later.